How to animate opacity is a question that I often see asked in forums, especially if you're coming from After Effects, where each layer has its own individual opacity slider, you might not know how to handle this in Fusion. And this is why I'm going to show you two quick ways how to animate the opacity. The first one is probably the easiest one to understand, but not the easiest to use. We need a merge or a dissolve node. So as you can see, I have this image. I'm just resizing it to my resolution and I've got this text with some glow on it, nothing special, and I'm merging it on top of my image. And just to explain quickly what an alpha channel is, I'm going to open this text here and I'm going to open this in my second viewer and I'm going to show you the alpha channel. And as you can see, all the areas that are completely transparent have an alpha value of zero, which you can see down below. And all the areas that are opaque, those have an alpha channel of 1. Of course, this can be 0 0.5, 0 0.1, everything in between. And essentially, this channel tells all the other channels, meaning the RGB color channels, what kind of transparency they have, if at all. Now let's merge this text onto our image. And as you can see, we have this blend slider, and this blend slider simply controls the opacity. But this is something you probably know about, as this is the most fundamental way of merging something in Fusion. As you can see, we don't actually change the alpha channel on our text. This is simply happening in the merge operation. So how would we now fade this whole image, including the text, out? Well, we don't have any way of just changing the blend here. The blend in our settings is also simply a copy of this input. So we would need another merge tool and simply take a background, which is completely transparent as our background input and merge our text on top of it. Now, if we look at both the RGB channel and in our alpha channel, we can see if we decrease the blend, that all of our nodes are essentially changing their opacity. But of course, there are different ways of animating our opacity, and they can teach you a lot about the alpha channel. Here we are in our second example, and again, I just have a text with a little bit of glow. And now, instead of using a merge, we are going to use a brightness contrast node. Simply place it at the end of your node branch, and make sure you have alpha selected as well. Because now we are treating the RGB, red, green and blue channels, and the alpha channel. Now if we are going to decrease the gain slider, we can see that our image is in fact turning transparent. You can see this both in the image and of course in the alpha channel. And now you might be wondering, do we actually need to treat the R, G and B channels as well? Do we actually want them to get darker, even though we only want to change the alpha channel? If we were to deselect R, G and B and now take the gain slider, the alpha is still changing, but we don't see the same happening in our image. And this is because our color channels are 1, 1, 1, or in our case, because of the glow there even above. So there isn't any way the transparency can shine through. This is why we need to multiply our alpha channel with our colors, or we need to decrease our colors directly by enabling this. Just to see what's happening underneath, we can again deselect them and place an alpha multiply behind our node branch. And as you can see, something is happening, but it's not exactly what we want, because even if we are going to set our gain slider to 1, we don't see our glow anymore. And this is because our glow is being multiplied with the alpha, even though we don't actually want that. We can fix this by simply adding an alpha divide, and now everything is back to normal. Of course, this is just to visualize what is happening. The easiest way is, of course, to simply 
select RGB as well. Be sure to check out all the other content on my website and on my YouTube channel.